How's it going, pre calc people? Today we are looking at 6 2, the dot product of vectors. This stuff is pretty straightforward. We should be through this in a flash. Okay. Your dot product, also known as your inner product. Okay. This will actually give you a number out of your two vectors. And this number is going to be very important if you go on to linear algebra of any sort or some uh, systems that you do calc with. Okay. So if you, this is noteworthy guys, if your vector u is some u1, u2, vector v is v1, v2, then your dot product is u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. Okay, I'm not going to give you this formula on a test or quiz. Quick example, suppose u is 3, 2, and v is 5, negative 1. And I want to find the dot product. I want to find u dot with v. Okay. Well, that would equal my u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. We get 15 minus 2, which is 13. Okay, guys. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. There are some rules you need to know. Okay, it's commutative. U dot with u is the magnitude of u squared. This one's noteworthy. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, zero dot with u is zero. Of course, don't write that one down. And this one is noteworthy because what I want you to notice is, well. Your dot property is distributive. All the same properties as multiplication, actually. Okay? And if you have a scalar, do your scalar first, then dot it, or dot it, then scalar. You don't scale or both. Okay? I'll let you guys write it. Okay. Here's a tricky one. I have 2i minus j dot with 3i minus 5j. What do I do? You just use your coefficients on these guys. And you might be saying, what is this stuff? We're going we're gonna to talk about this in later day. So it would be 2 times 3 plus negative 5 times negative 1. 6 plus 5. So it's 11. So you use your coefficients if they give you i's and j's, okay? okay. To find the angle between two vectors, well, cosine of your angle equals u dot all over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Okay, that it comes from trig, guys. If you want to know more, it's in your book, or you can talk to me. I'm not going to go through it in this video. Okay, so this is definitely, definitely noteworthy. How to find the angle between two vectors. So that means you take the cosine inverse of u dot of v, all divided by their magnitudes, multiplied by each other. Let's try it. Let's find the angle between negative uh, 2, 3, and negative 4, negative 1. So first we're going to dot u with v. Okay? Again, we go negative 2 times negative 4 plus 3 times negative 1. Okay. So we get boop, 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 boop. Why can't I think right now? 8 plus negative 3. That's 5, right? Next, we have to find the magnitude of u. Okay. Magnitude of u is square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared. We're using that shortcut method we can use because I don't have to go through and use a uh, distance formula. Okay? So it's square root of 4 plus 9 of 13. Right? And v, we do square root of 
negative 4 squared plus negative 1 squared which is 16 which is square root 17 right 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 and I plug it into my formula I go 5 that was my u dot v over u v over square root 13 times square root 17 and this equals approx approximately 15 divided by 15. How about I put my parentheses right and write this thing? equals point three three six three three six okay now uh, that equals cosine I'm on my face I'm on my face that equals cosine of theta so I cosine inverse both sides take the cosine inverse of the cosine both sides And I get theta is about 70.3 degrees. Okay? That's all there is to it. You have formulas to use for this stuff, guys. If you didn't take notes on this, you're a fool. It's not worthy. U and V are, blah, 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 are orthogonal if and only if u dot with v is zero. Orthogonal is a fancy way for per to say perpendicular. Okay, so that means they're perpendicular. Noteworthy stuff, guys. So we have to prove that these two vectors are orthogonal. Well, how do we do that? Well, you dot them together. u dot with v equals two uh, times negative six plus three times 4. You get negative 12 plus 12 which equals 0. So that means they make a right angle, they're orthogonal, proven. If u and v are non-zero vectors then the projection of u onto v is this. And this is work. I'm not going to have you guys write those today. I'm going to do those as a non-video thing. Okay? So that ends it for 6-2 for the video lectures. Hope you enjoyed it.